What's happening guys, it's Jeremy Blanton, and I figured it was time to bring back the 10 best restaurants here in Myrtle Beach that locals absolutely love. I did one of these last year and you all really seem to enjoy it. So I've updated the list some and I figured let's just get into this list. I'm gonna count these down of 10 favorite places that me and my friends absolutely love. I went on Facebook, I went on Instagram and I asked some people, what are your favorite spots? And I took all that stuff, pulled it together and that's where I got today's list from. So let's get into this. So number 10 on our list today is Magnolia's at 26th Avenue. It's located right downtown Myrtle Beach at 26th and Ocean Boulevard, and it is the only buffet that you're gonna find on the list. Why is that on the list? Because it is true local Southern cooking. Great, great food that you can go and eat at any time of the day. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they serve amazing food. And you can go back as many times as you want to down the line to get great stuff. They have things like fried chicken, fried fish, fried French fries, fried macaroni. Well, they don't have fried macaroni, but they have good macaroni and cheese and just about anything else Southern cooking wise you can think of right there on their menu. And I would definitely recommend try the chocolate eclair pie for dessert. It is awesome. Number nine on our list today is Handley's Pub in Carolina Forest. It is an English pub that serves amazing food. My family loves to go there on a Sunday after church. Kids meals are extremely affordable. And as my friend Tom says, you gotta try the Cuban. I'm gonna definitely have to give it a try next time I go. Number eight on our list today is Sea Captain's House. It's an oceanfront restaurant right in downtown Myrtle Beach. Has amazing fresh seafood right here that you can eat while overlooking the ocean. It's a great place to go. If you go check that place out, my personal recommendation is try the she crab soup. It is amazing and has huge chunks of fresh crab right in it. Number seven on my list is one of my favorite spots to go get pizza, and that is Gino's Pizza. They have several locations all up and down the Grand Strand, and they have some amazing pies that you can get and eat. One of my personal favorites is the Bada Bing. It is a meat lover extravaganza where you have to basically eat it with a fork because it has that much toppings on it. So go check out Gino's. Number six on our list today is Villa Romana found in downtown Myrtle Beach. It is a great local Italian restaurant where you can go get some of the most amazing Italian food that you could find anywhere on the Grand Strand. My dad, it was his personal favorite place to go at any time. He used to love to go and get the pork asabuco, which was his favorite dish of all time. So go check it out and have some amazing Italian right here in Myrtle Beach. The fifth thing on our list that takes us halfway there is one of our local spots that my family loves to go and check out, and that's the Sneaky Beagle. It's right here in Carolina Forest, and it's our go-to spot when we want a decent meal and don't want to have to deal with the large crowds and long lines that they have over at the beach. Some great items that you can have there are some of their tacos. I was there the other day, I had the calamari. It was amazing. They also have things like fresh pretzel bites. It's all, it's everything I've ever had there has been delicious. So go check it out. And here's the cool thing. If you have a dog, you can bring it along, sit outside. They even have a dog menu where you can get stuff for your pet right there to eat along with you. Number four on the list is one that I had never been to till the last time I did the list and friends said, you must go try it out. And that is Hook and Barrel in Myrtle Beach. It has amazingly delicious food. We got some bacon that came out on this hanger and it was thick with a bourbon glaze on it that was just, mm, it was so good. And then I had a steak, the steak was okay. But what my wife had was a scallop dish with a roasted corn underneath it. Oh my goodness, it was so, so good. And that's why Hook and Barrel's at number four. The third thing on the list today is my favorite restaurant on the northern end of the beach. That's Clark's Seafood and Chop House. And when you go there, the thing that I order every time is the filet Napoleon. What is it? Well, it starts with a bed of Parmesan risotto with asparagus in it. On top of that sits a beautiful filet mignon. And on top of that is a real extra thick crab cake and a balsamic vinaigrette reduction over the top. It is mm, beautiful. All right, so before I get into the final top two, let me just give a couple honorable mentions that didn't quite make it into our top 10. The Parsons Table, Thai Cuisine, Winna's Kitchen, Tavern in the Forest, Early Riser Diner, and Blueberry's Grill. 
those are some places that I definitely need to get out and check out between now and the next time I do this list. All right, guys, so we're down to the top two. And at number two is my absolute favorite place to go if I'm down on the southern end of the beach, and that's Frank's in Pauly's Island. You can either eat inside or outside. Either way, you get the same awesome menu to go and check out. And one of my personal favorite things to get there, I'm not a big dessert person, but when I go, I gotta get this, is the 17 layer caramel cake. It is so delicious. It melts in your mouth. Mm. And if you're celebrating a birthday, they're gonna put a firework basically right inside it. So definitely try out that cake when you go. All right, guys, and the moment you've all been waiting for, number one, drum roll. New York Prime in Myrtle Beach. Guys, I am a huge fan of steaks. And when it comes to steaks in the area, the place to go for the absolute best steak that you can find, in my opinion, is New York Prime. They're fresh cut, USDA prime grade steaks that are just awesome. They also have some of the creamiest, most delicious mashed potatoes that I think I've ever had in my life. And of course you can't go there and not get the appetizer of the extra thick cut bacon. It's like a half inch thick. I recently went with some friends for a dinner there and we got one order of the bacon and it was enough to share among the five of us. So it is huge thick and man, it is good. All right guys, so there you have it. The list of the top 10 locals restaurants here in Myrtle Beach. Hopefully you guys got your favorites on the list. If not, do me a favor, leave it in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video or found value in it, do me a favor as always, give it a thumbs up, get the bell on, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.